I don't believe it. Uh, my, no one never knows what to expect from my next guest. Uh, he is, to say the least, an unusual man. Uh, he has a new collection of, of 12 original graphics that are called Memories of Surrealism, which will be available shortly at the Alan Rich Galleries here in New York. Uh, we'll be seeing some of those later in the show, and we will certainly be seeing him. He is uh, one of the most colorful people I know. Odd is another word that's been applied. <laughs> but uh, he is a man who once said about himself, the only difference between myself and a madman is that I am not mad. <laughs> we'll see. Will you welcome, please, Salvador Dali. Well, I think you've caught something. I can't help noticing that you have an anteater with you, Mr. Dow. Oh, oh, please. Little thing, it's frightened. It isn't. It's a sweet animal. It's, it's an anteater, isn't yes, but it? But Dali no like a child, no like it at all. Wood butterfly is, and no like it animals of any kind. Only it. You only? And, and uh, uh, violent uh -huh. rhinoceros. Right off. Rhinoceros. 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 You like the rhinoceros and, and you like the anteater. Mr. Page, there's an anteater behind you. I <laughs> he came from the Bronx Zoo. He's not your own anteater, is well, it? Right? I, I am the property of six. Uh -huh. In his spine, but this is only for uh, today. For... Are, are you somehow inspired by an anteater? Uh, it... Yes, because rhinoceros and it ants is the only two animals angelic. And it's an angelic animal. Angelic animal. Look, can we get a look at him? He's really great. I, I, because I don't mean... because oh. the, the tongue. The tongue is exactly represent the molecular strict of desoxyribonucleic acid. Well, I, I think we all agree on that. I, uh, it's hard to know, to having you and an ant here, here at the same time, uh, which to... Uh, which, uh, um, would you like to hold him on your lap so it would be easier to converse? And also the horn of the more violent animal, the rhinoceros. Uh -huh. The curb of one horn of rhinoceros is exactly mathematical, one logarithmic spiral. Something about a rhinoceros. Yes, the <laughs> logarithmic spiral of the ship uh -huh. of rhinoceros organ. Mr. Page was telling me that earlier, right? <laughs> uh, I think we just let, let the, let the anteater walk until he finds uh, an ant. You... <laughs> D Mr. Mr. Dolly, I must say that I find you, uh, you're, your accent a bit difficult, so if you would speak slowly for me, it would be, uh, be no, nice. Because uh, uh, my English is uh, little, is the accent of Catalonian language, you know? It's one of For instance, uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Miss Gish. Miss Gish. Yes. You, you, uh, voulez vous être gentil de dire uh, papillon in, in good English? Butterfly. Papillon. Oh, sorry. Uh, papillon? Yes, in English. It's a butterfly? You look in, in Dalinian English. Butterfly. <laughs> Butterfly. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> no, but, no, this is represents, uh, you know, the uh, uh, English language is too foggy and imprecise, and it's necessary to inject, so it more inject some feeling. reality in mm -hmm. this foggy and imprecise mm -hmm. English language. I'm going to talk to the anteater now for a while. <laughs> Mr. Dali, uh, you. Do you... May I ask you uh, where you get your clothing? I know, do you design your own clothing? Do you, do you, I know you design your life in, a, in another sense. You, you've invented an incredible picture, a character. Uh... No, 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 no. My show is I'm only responsible for my face, the mustache. Uh -huh. the, 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 it is just Madame Dali. You know, my... Beatrice in my life, and give me shoes and dress and everything. So your wife designs everything. your outward appearance from the neck down? Give me everything. Mm -hmm. And you have designed your mustache, which of course has been the object of some humor over the years. Uh... No, it's absolutely of the contrary. Uh -huh. The mustache is the constant, tragical event in the human face. The, Remember, the constant, the tragic, tra element. tragical element in the human face. 
all time. Has anyone... Charlie in... Chaplin, Hitler, mm -hmm. Ali, is the more violent phenomenon in one face, uh -huh. this awful capillary explosion of personality. Yeah. Has anyone ever been injured by your mustache in any way? Uh, oh, uh, uh, almost everybody in modern times. It, it's very, <laughs> it's very uh, stiff looking. Uh, do you apply something know. to it? Or? In the daytime, put a uh, Hungarian watch mm -hmm. for remain, remain erected. But in the nighttime, clean mm. uh, my mustache. Uh, my mustache is becoming the Zenko and Chinese completely melancholic and depressing mustache. So if one were to see and you at night. Day, again, very violent and like Austrian uh, tradition, you know, Velasquez and all kings of Spain, this tremendous pointed mystical mustache mm -hmm. in the night, depressing. So if we were to see you at night, we would see a drooping mustache and uh, see a different Dolly, in other words. If I had said, hello, Dolly, when you came out, would you have been offended? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's an old joke, I expect. You are never really. offended because yeah. uh, all times the jokes create one tremendous indifference in yeah. my life. You know, I am tragical, and the jokes appear me tremendous quantity of vulgarity. In any jokes. Dali never jokes. Do you like jokes? No, 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 no. Yeah. For this choice, the only intelligent animals, which is the rhinoceros, and the hip ants. Because the cats, the dogs, is the more vulgar and catastrophic uh, uh, animal that exists. Yeah. Yeah, well, we, uh, do you like baseball? Uh, you... never look, uh, one. Only look, uh, photograph. Uh -huh. Of the people sit down in the, in the floor catching dust and meditating, but never look uh, in movement. Only look still pictures. And make one painting of baseball mm -hmm. uh, surrounded with melancholia. Because uh, for me, create a tremendous melancholic effect. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's in this position, in the trees, and yes. in the floor, in the dust. Melancholy. Melancholy. <laughs> Talking with Satchel Page, Lillian Gish, and uh, Salvador Dali. And I was wondering, Mr. Dali, you've done some very mysterious things, and I don't know if, if you like to be asked what they mean, but there was an incident once where you appeared for a lecture in Paris uh, at the Sorbonne, and you arrived in a Rolls Royce filled with cauliflowers. Yes, because, cauliflower, uh, I believe. Uh, you know, uh. the cauliflower represents exactly the same morphological problem of one horn of rhinoceros. Can you look careful, one cauliflower? There's plenty of the, the same pattern of sunflower. And you know Leonardo da Vinci? The cauliflower so, is the same pattern the as the same, sunflower. The, exactly, the same pattern is uh, crossing logarithmic aspirals. And Leonardo da Vinci discovered for the first time mm. this mat mathematical uh, phenomenon in the sunflower. And later on, Dali discovered thousand times much more powerful mathematical problem in the cauliflower. And this is the reason to arrive in Sorbonne, because my, my speech is around the cauliflower and the horn of rhinoceros, because it's the same problem. The same rhinoceros that you mentioned exactly. earlier. Rhinoceros, <laughs> mathematical uh, mm -hmm. pattern. Do I, am I alone in finding you somewhat difficult to follow uh, in terms of what uh, your theories are? Uh, do people often misunderstand you or find you hard to... Uh, I know, but this is absolutely I, it's not because but it's... Because myself, uh, uh, born in my surrealism for 14 years, mm -hmm. and, and today no understand nothing of my work. No one understands your work today? Uh, no, a lot of it is, is absolutely legitimate that other people also no understand. Because if myself understand, the other understand less. I mean, is it, is it my imagination, or are you speaking a mixture of languages? No, 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 no. All time is the same. It's, but didn't you say a word of two, a Spanish, a word English, of... English by with uh, mm -hmm. injection of uh, Catalonian, Catalonian accent. Cat Catal Catalonian. Catalonian accent. Costa Brava yes. accent. Yes, that clears that up, too. <laughs> Ms. Gish has a question. I hope it's not an impudent one, Monsieur Dali, but have you, from the beginning of your work, your great craftsmanship in painting, a message to give to the people that we perhaps don't understand? No message. No message. Book, no message. Could you invent one? 
Impossible. Yeah. I'm against any kind of message. You are? Against. Your paintings have a very dreamlike quality, and uh, I do find them fascinating. I'd like no, to look at... No, there's uh, no uh, dream, because uh, it's never a dream. It's hypnagogical image. Hypnagogical image? Exactly. Before... What dream. is that? It's like 10 minutes before you sleep. The, uh, 10 minutes or oh, 15 minutes before you fall sleeping, uh -huh. appear in some genius, the Senkadali, some kind of very vivid, irrational, and little petition images. And myself catch this image, mm -hmm. and then with the more careful photographic uh, style, and no message and no explanation. Sometimes after 20 years, some scientific people tell this perhaps means this or this, but mm. every of these Dalian images remain in one complete mystery. <coughs> Buji Buji. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I, I don't. I, I don't know what you you affect me in a peculiar way. And, and, uh... <laughs> no, but you know, uh, Dali, Dali is one tremendous power for cretinization everybody. I don't think anyone will like you about that. <laughs> May, could we look, uh, Mr. Dali, at your uh, graphics now? They're going to be on, on display. Because uh, really they are quite remarkable, as you know, if you've seen his work. Will you, there, can you see that one? Ah, that yes, is... yes, this is uh, one rose. That's the surrealistic flower girl, no, no. according to you me. No, Gertrude Stein. Gertrude Stein? One rose, is 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 one rose. Gertrude Stein one rose. stopped earlier, but yes. Uh, yeah, and that's the surrealistic flower girl. Uh, uh, no, it's Dalini and Flaubert because uh, in Paris some crazy people create one, one Dalini and rose. And it's this, mm -hmm. this one. It's so the last in it, creation in Flaubert's in Paris. Next? Oh, it seems to be two people. Oh, that's us. <laughs> there. Uh, and that is the ah, very good, very good. surrealistic king. Uh, in almost every... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 no move. Because this is very mm. important, you know. Dali is tremendous monarchic. Tremendous. Uh, uh, Catholic uh, and monarchic. And very soon, uh, Spain becoming one kingdom. After Generalissimo Franco is already a uh -huh. The prince Juan Carlos becoming the king of Spain. And this is no message, but this is the vision of Spain in the moment of becoming one kingdom. Spain becoming one kingdom. Bravo. Eye of Surrealist Time is the next title. I've noticed that there's uh, two out of five of your butterfly pictures have uh, no, three butterflies. Butterfly in them. Bravo. Bravo. Uh, Bravo. And uh, why? And what do butterflies? The eye of time, because these appear one night at eleven o'clock look uh, through the window and appear one tremendous, gigantic A with mm. the, the hours, you know, three o'clock, four o'clock, and copy this. Yeah. What was the name of the film in which a razor was drawn across an eye? Ah, yes, yeah, um, uh, this probably is one personal uh, question between time and Dali. Because in my... Uh, between time and mm -hmm. Dali. Because in my first Le Chien Andalou movie, yes. a star the movie, cutting the A of one beautiful girl. You remember, cut to his Yes, one, I don't know when you've seen that. Never forget it. A razor blade is drawn Ex across an eyeball, and uh, it's very... Uh, uh, is there anything people have failed to understand about the meaning of that? Ah, uh, probably is... Uh, I am not like it blind people, you know? Mm. Not like Subconsciously. It, exactly. This is Dali. Is Dali is that dressed a... in one surrealist manner with bosoms, mm -hmm. like one girl. Because um, Dali is very young, Dali loves becoming one girl. And like it, bosoms, and not like it, to uh, uh, masculine sex, and make uh, one sex of girl for the same price. No, I don't understand that. <laughs> it, it was uh, a self-portrait of you with, with, uh, with female breasts, if I'm exactly, not right. Exactly. Yeah. No, this, no, this is one, uh, one soft watch enveloping the thing, uh, come and bear Cheese. Because Dali liked it foot come and bear, mm. and liked it for the same time foot uh, watches. What is a typical time, foot to time. What is a typical lunch for you? Uh, the best in Paris is uh, start with hortelans, you know, little little beers, it's possible swallow everything, and second 
Flèche de bois pour finish. I start by Ecrivis. Ecrivis. All animals with faces. No like it a steak because there is no faces in one steak. You won't eat but a steak because like it, it has no face? Like a food, something with nose, ears, and complete. Mm. See, nose, you food anonymous animals. Like a little beers, grow fish, everything, possess mustaches, ears, and com complete, complete. Quite so. <laughs> After this message from our local stations, we'll be right back. Sorry to rush, but we have only a couple of moments left, and I, I do admire you in, in your work, and I would like to know if you would give me an autograph. Would you? No, no. I, I had something larger in mind. <laughs> something like maybe this size. And uh, I've never asked a guest for an autograph on the air before, but I thought it might be interesting to see if you do it in the ordinary way. You're sore, but boogie boogie. Aren't you? You seem to be drawing a crown. Is that a crown? Just a crown. Uh huh. And, and uh, this is drops, drops of milk. This is symbolic. A little dro drops of milk. Drops milk. of milk on of the milk. crown. The Do I suggest milk to you? Uh, all time because it's uh, hereditary. Uh huh. You know, it's, uh, genetic God. And this is your. Have you ever heard anyone giving them an autograph? <laughs> oh, or the date, nineteen seventy-one. That says Dali. Dali. And there's the crown, and... and oh, the... In, in more, uh, in less squeak is this. In less... Ah, uh -huh. I'm gonna have to get a larger autograph book, I, I expect. Mr. Page, where will you be going next? Well, I'm going back to Kansas City. Are you? Uh, yeah. You can do any fishing? Yes, I'm going from there to Miami. Uh -huh. And from uh, there, if I can get in Los Angeles. I know you're a great fisherman. Yeah, well, I, I, I love the game. I, uh... I don't like the big one, the Darth, and I don't like to wrestle. And I was down with Ted once down there with the Darth, and I wrestled about five hours, and I went to the hospital the next day. Still, the fish is still out there yet. <laughs> so I don't like was, the big fish. I like the Thank you for being here. It was a great pleasure to meet you. And thank you, Miss Gish, for being here again. And Mr. Dolly, um, th thank you. Yeah. Pleasure. We'll see you uh, tomorrow night. Rhinoceros and all.